Welcome to the Los Angeles Sentinel podcast, where we bring you culture and news that highlights the black experience. I'm Neil Anderson, and today it's all about the OWN Network and Essence Magazine. Joining me now is Stephanie Donovan. She's the VP of Essence in charge of branded content and video, and she's also the executive producer of OWN's Time of Essence. Welcome, Stephanie. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to just have such a legacy magazine. As you know, the Los Angeles Sentinel is celebrating 90 years this year wow. of legacy and advocacy to the Los Angeles community. And so to be talking to you at 50, let's do this. <laughs> I love that. Well, congratulations for sure. Thank you. Same to you. Thank and you. let's just start the conversation of talking about how the collaboration between All Network and Essence came to be for this project. Ooh, well, it was a long road. <laughs> um, first, we we had a great partnership. Emmett Dennis, um, who is one of the senior leaders at Essence Ventures and Essence Studios, had a great collaboration and great partnership with Endemol 51 Minds, which is our production partner. Um, and we actually had been developing this for a long time. The first time that I ever started to dive into archives, like when I say dive in, literally me and sneakers climbing over boxes of VHS tapes, dive in, um, was in 2019. So as you can imagine, it's 2023, that road, it doesn't normally take that long to make a show, but when you're trying to make that show and then the pandemic hits right. and everybody's all of a sudden all over the place, that definitely, you know, delayed the project. But I always say everything happens for a reason to have a distribution partner in own the network owned by Oprah Winfrey, who right. we have been highlighting over the years in her career and making sure that she had a platform that she can look up, she can she can be celebrated in through Essence. And now that is the catalyst to us telling our story. It's just all full circle. So it this is the perfect time for this collaboration for sure. So who came up with the name Time of Essence? <laughs> well, there's debates going on around here, but um I believe Raymond Garcia, who is one of our lead partners at 51 Minds Major TV, who we started developing this project with and helped, the, helped us see it all the way through, um, came up with the name Time of Essence. There's so many like, you know, pun intended, the time is of the essence, time is of right. the essence. <laughs> the time of essence just felt timely for sure. It, it, it fit perfectly. So what can viewers expect on this, this road that you take us on? Yeah, so every single episode unpacks a different decade. So last okay. week we were in the 70s at the beginning of when Essence was founded by four Black men, inclusive of Ed Lewis, um, and really hearing what was going on at the time. I think that's the beautiful part, is not only are you getting... Um, this unfiltered look at what it took for Essence to come about and sustain across 50 years, you're also seeing what the country was going through at the time, what our community was going through at the time. And it only um, holds true of why Essence and Black-owned media is so important. You really get to see the juxtaposition of what was going on and why Essence was so important to be there at that time to combat whatever was going on uh, in society. So what a uh, Black girl magic, what faces and voices during as you take us on this road um, of Essence, who can we expect to see? Uh, we, I mean, when we put out the call for people to be a part of this, the overwhelming outcry of people that wanted to be in it was just, it was heartwarming. So we have none other than Vanessa Williams. We got Halle Berry. Wow. We have Cheryl Lee Ralph. Okay. We have Oprah Winfrey herself. Okay. Um, but I'm also really excited about our former editor in chief. As we go through the story, this is really a love letter to what they have built and the legacy that they have left in the magazine. So Ida Ida B. Wells and and um, Marsha and Gillespie mm -hmm. and Susan L. Taylor, who many of us know. Um, we really got to see 
what they did while they were at the helm of this great magazine. Um, I'm very excited about that. And then we also have the new school. I'm in it um, throughout all the episodes, but then we also have our CEO and president of Essence Ventures, Caroline Wonga. So through her, you see her telling the story of all five decades, but then you really get to see where Essence is headed next in the next 50 years in that last episode. Um, so it's, it's a really well-rounded uh, show for sure. You brought up Susan L. Taylor and she's synonymous when you think of Essence, uh, her monthly column that she would put out. Um, what role does she play in this docuseries? <laughs> So Susan, she is my personal unicorn. Like she is just, I I grew up looking at the in the spirit. My mom always had it open on the coffee table with a glorious braids that went on to Hi. infinity that looked just like my little braids, but I had the little beads at the end. Um, she is a major part in telling the story of Essence um, oh, from... Yeah. When it was in the 70s and she was a, one of the, the, I think the lead beauty writer and then becoming editor in chief throughout the 80s and the 90s, it was really, really important um, to have her be a big part of it because she was, she held the job for the longest. She was really the catalyst to Essence being the cultural brand that it is. And she, you saw her pushing the envelope and not only just showing us in, in a beautiful light and, and, and making sure that our beauty is celebrated, but telling those hard hitting stories about AIDS, about crack, about the crack academic. Um, I think that that is really what Essence is today, right? We're, we're telling all the stories, we're making sure that we're hitting her with everything that she could possibly care about from beauty to wellness, to politics, to um, financial literacy. So Susan, I mean, she's the godmother. She <laughs> truly is. <laughs> she is. She yes. Is. And so um, I had some of the staff had a question they wanted me to ask you. That they're, they want to know how long does it take to put together an Essence magazine? Oh, my gosh. How <laughs> long does it take? Well, we do them bi-monthly now. We used to do them every single month. But it is a constant it's a constant churning thing. I don't know if there's like a specific timeline of we're gonna start it here and end it here, mm -hmm. um, but we shoot our our covers well in advance, maybe a month or two in advance, depending on who the celebrity is. And then we have our, our featured stories. It is a well-oiled machine, I'll tell you that. Um, and now having a double issue I don't, I don't know if that takes, if that's less work, even <laughs> it's a double issue. It, it has more in it, but um, you know, it, we're talking to her 365 days out of the year with essence.com with all of our events. And wow. then we also have the magazine. So it is kind of like a, a never ending wheel that that's always turning. Mm -hmm. We're always coming up and brainstorming things that we want to do in future magazines. But I'll say, you know, it's kind of cycled out month every two months we're, we're working on a new issue and it just mm -hmm. and then we work on the next issue mm -hmm. so i mean i just love the evolution of essence from going to a magazine mm -hmm. to a festival mm -hmm. right and now you're on tv and 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 so mm -hmm. i think that speaks to keeping up with the times and evolving um essence fest it's become a staple in black culture and experience it is a cultural Talk movement Oh my gosh. Talk to us about the process of putting that together. Does it start immediately when it ends or do you get a break and then start up at the first? Ooh, we are talking about Essence Festival. So I had the honor of leading Essence Festival through when we were virtual. And then the first time it was back on the ground last year. And when I tell you there is nothing to prepare you for an Essence Festival. There's <laughs> nothing like it. There's no other. It's the largest festival by per day attendance. I know when people think of festivals, they're thinking of, they're talking about Coachella or they're talking about Wireless Festival. But Essence Festival is the largest festival in the country by per day attendance. And it's it's the only generational place that you see. Like, I'm not going to be taking my daughter to Coachella, okay? I'm going to yeah. be taking her to Essence Festival um, next year. My son is gone year over year. But 
now that we have an always on team, which I'm really excited about. So previously, you know, when I was leading it, I was doing that and I was doing video and we were kind of doing all the events and then festival came on and it was like, okay, all hands on deck. We got to focus on festival. It's April. We're going to hunker down and, and, and turn this out. But now we have an always on team head by Michael Barclay and Hakeem Holmes, who is actually a NOLA native. So he's a son of NOLA. So he's got, we call him NOLA. Nola Bones. He is true to <laughs> Nola and making sure that we are representing for his city, which I love. Um, but we have an always on team. So they were talking about our 30th anniversary before this festival even happened. Wow. So we're making sure that, you know, year over year with this always on team is 365 days of planning Essence Festival. It is that big of a festival. So I love that leadership has really invested in making sure that it gets the time and attention and staff that it needs. Uh -huh. um, and I have an always on video team under me that is, you know, thinking of new ways to capture festival. We do it, we do the Hulu show year over year. This is our second year that we've done that from the Superdome. So that's been great. And it's just been a great way for to answer the FOMO that happens for anybody that's not in festival. But yeah, right. festival, it is a year round planning session for sure. And next year we're turning 30. All so right. <laughs> okay, I think good. it's hard for me to come back. I went to the very first Essence Festival with Mary J. Blige. I was there when it started. Wow. I went to Gramlin, so I'm definitely gonna be there for the 30th. You went to the for first sure. Essence Festival. <laughs> I was at the I'm first one. Know. Mary J. Blige was the headliner. You do not look old enough to be old enough to go to the uh, first Essence <laughs> Fest. This is why they can't now, stand us. Ask, <laughs> do we see some of the Essence Fest and the making of it in the docu series on All Network? So you'll absolutely. We spend some time talking about some untold stories about Essence Festival. Um, and it's, it's really, really interesting. I don't want to give too much away. And then we also talk about, you know, the making of the virtual festival we had to go through mm. to make that come to life for sure in the last episode. Um, but definitely look, keep following Essence. We'll have some behind the scenes of the making of the 30th Essence Festival. I know a lot of people really want to know what's behind the curtain of, of making festival. So uh, keep, keep watching, keep following. We'll make sure that we give you guys a little peek for sure. Well, we think it's the perfect partnership to have Essence and the Oprah Winfrey Network team up because when you think of black women, when you think of black girl magic and everything that we yeah. represent, we get that from own network and from Essence magazine. So tell us how we can tap in and view Time of Essence. So um, owns Time of Essence. You guys can tune in every single Friday through September 15th on OWN Network. You can also unlock the episodes at 9 p.m. every Friday on Max. I know a lot of people, they want to, we're so used to binging everything at once, but you guys can tune in on Max tomorrow and watch episode one and episode two, and then we'll unlock an episode every single week, but every Friday for the next few weeks up until uh, September 15th. All right. Thank you so much for checking in with us, Stephanie. All the best. And we look forward to watching you on All Network. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And happy 90th. Thank you. Happy 50th. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Stephanie. And be sure to check out Time of Essence airing Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on OWN, Oprah Winfrey's Network. And for the latest in Black news, visit LACentinel.net. I'm Neil Anderson, and we'll see you in the community.